I'm going to show you how I've made this lovely looking little corner shelf. Now these are really useful when you haven't got an awful lot of space. So if you've, if it's a cupboard under your stairs or if like in your workshop now and this is your work area and you haven't got enough space for a full size shelf, this can either be freestanding like that in a corner or if you wanted to, you could even fix them up in the wall like that. But they're a great way of having extra storage and they're really solid. From my schematic, I managed to measure out. I try and use as many little bits as possible. So, two of my off cut ends from my last project, I managed to use those two. And in four slats, these are going to be the shelves, and these are going to be the backs and sides. Dead simple. So, four slats, two off cuts. These are quite rough, so I'm, I only need one side to be good, so I'm going to give one side a real good sanding. These are, as you can see, these are pretty good nick, and they've got pretty good edges. Because these are going to butt up against each other, like this, they need to have a good joining edge. So if you've got any of the edges that are quite, quite rough and battered like that, you need to sand these down smooth. So we've marked them out, we've measured them up, let's get them sanded off, and then we'll get them cut. Now you can see these pieces all sanded out. This is why I really like pallet wood as well because it's got character. You can see as I've sanded it off a bit, it shows the different saw planes. I like that. And these little pieces here, I think these look great. Just with a little, like, just a bit of a regular character about them. So, those are the sides. Those are gonna be the shelves. These are gonna be the supports. So they're all sanded off now. So let's get them cut. There's my pieces cut, these are going to be my two shelves, these are the supports, and there's the back. So you can see all I've got to do is, you know when they always say, measure twice, cut once? Well I'm glad I did, I measured it all out, and then I thought, I'll measure it all again just before I cut it, and I realised that I'd actually made a mistake on these. So yes, measure twice, cut once. The little bits of pencil lines that are still left on some of them, I'm going to give them a little bit of a buff for the sand and then we'll get them all put together. As I've been buffing off all the old pencil lines, what I've started to do now is my two boards at the back, they're going to meet like that. So what I did was I made a square and took the line off because I want them to be both to be perfectly 45 degrees and then drew a line along, you see there, and then I just put it in my vise and I just used my plane and I've just planed it off. There, I've planed both edges down as you can see so that they meet up like that. See the little lines that I marked to make sure it was a perfect 45 so that when they meet together like that the two 45 degrees make a perfect 90 degree angle so it will sit perfectly in a corner like that. Now it's never going to be exactly perfect the wood wasn't to start with and to plane two perfect sides both 45 degrees would be well a better woodsman a better woodworker than I am but that is pretty close. I marked up my supports and I've cut them so they'll make a perfect 90 degree angle. So that when it sits in the corner, that's what your shelf's gonna sit on. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a dob of glue in between those two and hold them together with a staple. And then the shelf is gonna screw down onto them and the back is gonna screw into them. So these are what's gonna bind the whole thing together. That's why it's crucial that you get the right angle in there if it's off at all and it's not a 90, the rest of the whole thing won't sit right. Using a bench hook that we made in a previous video, all I'm going to do is give it a good, 
a dollop of wood glue. Give it a good push up tight and then mark it when we see, check it with my set square that it's 90 before I put a staple in it. There. And then I'll flip it and do the same on the other side. There. Now I'll leave that leave that to dry. The staple will just hold it for the time being and the glue will set it. The screws from the shelves and the back are going to hold it tight. So you only just need to hold it together. If I was going to put, if I was going to hold it together with a screw in there, it's another screw. So that any of the other screws going in the back could hit into it and it's just not necessary. So same as before. Put your support. Now you're going to take your two shelf pieces and you're going to fix them onto there. Now if you've measured this right, they should all marry up perfectly like that and I'm using three and a half mil by 40 screws so they should be going to go I'll pick it up and show you should be able to go that far into it I'm going to be drilling a pilot hole because these are three and a half mil screws I'm going to be drilling a three mil pilot hole and I'm just going to stick a couple of screws in There we go. Second one, just do exactly the same. Once we've got the two shelf units built, I'll show you how we're going to fit onto here. The first one is going to go there, and the bottom one is going to fit there. And I'm going to screw from the back of here into there. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get these together. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put a runner glue down in, in between each seam and put a couple of staples in between to hold them. Now wherever these are going to be I can put the staples behind where these are so you won't see them. So I'll mark it up. We're going to put a runner glue down and get them stapled. There you go, one half, now we just need to get the second half on. So I'll just run a line of glue down here and along there, fasten it on.
And there we go. That's the finished article. Because of chamfered, because of chamfered the back, and because of chamfered the supports, they all fit flush right up to each other. Because I cut these at the right angles, they all fit together. Now that, that there is quite solid standing. Because the bottom shelf fits flush onto the bottom, that's solid standing. That could stand in the corner and have whatever you want on it. Or if you if you wanted to have it higher up, all you would do is you'd put a couple of screws in here and screw it up into the corner. But there you go, there's a lovely little corner shelf. All I'm going to do now is I'll just get the sander and I'll go around to give it one last go around the outside just to just to take off any little rough bits. There you go, and solid.